one of the greatest things that um, has happened recently with me is that I that I got a chance to go to India, and um, when I started the journey, it it was such a, a beautiful thing because God's present was presence was through that whole entire trip, and um, but when I got to the ashram. I walked in, and what struck me the most was the absolute silence in my head. I had no thoughts, and all I felt was this powerful sense of God's presence and this wellspring of gratitude, this deepening gratitude of just being alive at this moment in time and being given this beautiful opportunity to be in this, this place where every single person was just focused on God's presence and gratitude and looking at each other so deeply and seeing that divinity in each other and saying, Wow, I am so grateful every day, every day. And I brought that, it changed my life. It really did. It brought me to the fact that I got through the pandemic and I got through my husband's prostate cancer. I got through, you know, uh, the death of my mother in law and I took care of her. Um, I got through all of those things. And I was grateful for each one of those things because it taught me so much about how grateful I am for my husband, how grateful it was that my mother-in-law was there because she was the catalyst for me getting into holistic health and doing um, the things that I do now because of her health uh, and being that person that took care of her at the end. Um, I was so grateful for that. My name is Lori Thompson, and this is my advice. I have been a holistic health therapist for the last 16 years, and it's given me a front row seat to people's lives and what they struggle with and to, um, to get more peace and contentment and uh, joy, having an attitude of gratitude is probably one of the greatest things that I've seen to help people um, to overcome chronic pain conditions, uh, stress-related illness, um, and that gratitude grows every day. It gives us the ability to um, change our views uh, on and in the world. We see in Western science now, over the course of the time that I've been doing this, um, that there are many, many connections to gratitude and a mind-body connection. We can sleep better. We can um, have better relationships when we are focused on gratitude daily. So even when we have chronic pain, even when we have um, challenges and obstacles in our lives, there is something that we can find that we can be grateful for. You know, when we look at the statistics in the world and see that 10% of the, the world's population has a food shortage, we can look in our refrigerators and be so profoundly grateful that we have choices in that refrigerator. We can go into our bathrooms and take showers and have running water 
And, you know, millions of people, even billions of people, don't have access to clean water. So when we start to look at all of these things in our daily lives that we take for granted every day, we can start to build a different perspective. And by building a different perspective in our lives, we start to see that gratitude growing and the small things. We're, sometimes, you know, we're grateful for the big things in our lives. We're grateful um, or thankful, you know, for um, our family or we come through a major illness and we're really grateful for a while. But that gratitude tends to fade over time. And by having a set gratitude, a daily practice of gratitude, waking up in the morning and saying, wow, I'm grateful for a new day. I woke up. I, I'm, I have less pain today. Um, I have warm, I'm, I'm warm. I have a roof over my head. You know, things that so many people don't have. And then you get out of bed and you go and you get, um, you know, again, you get your breakfast. You get ready for work. You have clean clothes. Millions of people don't have that. You know, we take so much for granted. And when we have that attitude of gratitude daily, we wind up seeing the beauty. There's a wellspring in our heart when we truly have gratitude. And one of the best ways to keep gratitude is a gratitude journal. It's an easy way to write down things that you're grateful for at the end of the day, to keep um, yourself focused on what you have in your life. When we're focused on what we lack, we tend to have that glass half empty, right? And so when we start to focus on that half glass, uh, that glass half full, we can change that brain chemistry. And when we start to do that on a daily basis, we start to see more and more and more positivity and blessings in our lives that, um, you know, just give us that sense of contentment, give us that sense of joy and that peace. We're no longer feeling chaotic and, you know, people with depression, we tend to really have a difficult time finding positive things in our lives because the depression kind of coats us in uh, that we, um, we're we just tilted to negativity. You know, in the law of attraction, like uh, attracts like. So for depressed or anxious people, they, t- they tend to draw that to them. People that have an attitude of gratitude tend to draw that positivity to them. So when we teach people um, that are dealing with anxiety or depression, chronic pain, um, stress, you know, um, we are able to uh, show them that each and every day there's something that they can be grateful for, even the smallest things, you know having warm socks, (laughs) having this beautiful nature, the sunset, the sunrise, things that, the reduction of pain for that day, you know, uh, and only take one day at a time. And you find that you're now being present every day. You're no longer thinking about past things and pulling that forward. You're not thinking of future things, what if, and, uh, you know, the, the projection of things that we don't know that's going to happen, but we stay present 
and we're able to glean a, uh, a subtle energy that is there, that is life-affirming, that wells up inside us and gives us that, that sense of peace, that sense of contentment. I have enough. I don't need more. I have enough. And when we have enough, then we start to think, I can give more. I can give of myself more. I can give of my time more. And instead of rushing around saying how busy we are, all of a sudden, we start finding these pockets of time for those relationships that have kind of faltered or those uh, tasks that we really wanted to do, community, volunteerism, those beautiful things that keep a community healthy. And then we start to be grateful for our community, for our church groups, for our um, you know, support groups that are out there that uplift us, that help us. So when we continue to have gratitude in our hearts, we start to feel that, um, that underlying life-affirming energy start to come through us. And when that starts to happen, we start to uplift others. And it's a wave. It, it gives that ability to affect others in such a positive, uplifting way. So when we are feeling down, when we are feeling um, that lack, just stop. Think, oh, wait a minute. What, what do I have to be grateful for today? And then automatically you'll feel it. You'll feel that welling up and you'll feel that life-affirming feeling that, okay, yeah, this is good. And then you can move through your day. And going to sleep at night, if you recount all the things that you were grateful for today, you were grateful for that person that opened the door for you. You were grateful for um, the kind <coughs> words or the person that um, was able to, uh, you know, let you go ahead of them in the line, uh, you know, the grocery line. You know, there's so many people, and we start to see that in the world. We start to see uh, more kindness, and we need that. We need that so much in, in the world today. We need kindness, and we need to have that gratitude. So my advice, attitude of gratitude daily. It's the way to have more peace, more contentment, and a more joy-filled life. If we knew then all that we know now, I think the world would be better somehow. And if way back when someone showed